Today we'll look at how to create QR codes in the Affinity programs. I'll be using Affinity Designer for this video, but this feature works the exact same way in Affinity Photo and Publisher. Make sure you're on version 2.5 or above, as that's when this feature was released. Now I'm sure you've seen QR codes. Those are the squarish block patterns you can scan with your phone, and they'll bring you to a website or perform some other action. In Affinity, QR codes are a type of shape. So to use a QR code, I'll go to my Shapes menu over here. Right now it's rounded rectangle, but you'll see this white arrow. If I right click on it, I have these other options. And I'll scroll down and I'll select QR code. Once selected, you can click and drag on your canvas and you can create the code. And just like any other shape, you can change the fill color over here. I'll make it pure black, but you could make it something else if you wanted, pink, green, yellow. Let's go back to black. Now, of course, the most important detail is what does your QR code actually do? So with your QR code selected, you can see the data up here. So by default, it goes to the Affinity website. I'll click on this. Now I have the ability to edit the data in the QR code. So if I select type, you can see all the different protocols there selected. I'll leave it as URL, but there's other ones you can choose. And here you can choose the destination of where it goes. So as you type different things in here, you'll see the QR code change. I'll add a link. Let's go to Wikipedia. And I recommend clicking this target button. That will visit the URL to make sure it actually works. So let's click that. And Wikipedia appeared in my web browser. So it seems like it's working. Let's close this. Once you're done, you can click OK. And of course, if you have a bigger, more complicated composition, you can still add a QR code to it. I'll select my QR code tool over here. I'll drag it where I want it to appear. I can change the link. So I'll click data. I'll give it some URL. I'll click OK. And now it's part of my design here. Sometimes you see more creative QR codes that have some type of design in the middle. Is it possible to do this in Affinity? Well, the answer is yes. But as with any program making custom QR codes, you need to be very careful. These types of custom codes work because QR codes have built-in error correction into them. So you can do a little bit of damage to them with your own custom images, and they can still work. But it's definitely a fine line, and you need to be careful. Let's look at this example here. I have this QR code. Let's say I want to put this dinosaur on it. Well, I could take my dinosaur. Let's give him a background here. I'll center it. And now I can move it over my QR code. Let's shrink it. I'll put it there. I'll make the background white. Now I have my custom QR code design. But now we need to do something very important, which is we need to test that it actually works. So I'm going to export this code as a PNG. I'll select File, Export. I'll click Export. I'll call it QR Code 1, and I'll save it. Now I'm going to visit this website here called ScanQR, and we can upload our design and see if it's recognized. So if I scroll down, it allows me to upload an image. So let's click on this. I'll select my QR code. I'll click Open. And it says no QR code found. So we did too much damage to our image there. Let's go back to Affinity Designer. Let me make it smaller. Let's try this one. I'll do File, Export. Let's do it QR Code 2. Let's try our second attempt. I'll select QR Code 2. I'll click Open. And you can see this one actually worked. It found a URL. So if I copy and paste this, we've gone to our website here. Just keep in mind that modifying a QR code like this can be risky. Some scanners might successfully read it, and some might not. Is there any topic you'd like to see a video on? Let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.